We are now reviewing some deployment guidelines for identity collectors when the environment is a little bit more complicated than just a single site and a single Active Directory server. So in essence, it's very important that you review SK10-8235 to understand the basic requirements for the identity collector. And when you have multiple sites, you realize that you can learn the login events on one site. Just keep in mind that the login events are then really occurring across the wide area network so that you have the relevant protocols and ports enabled and allowed across the wide area network and that network address translation is not taking place because network tr address translation, if this machine would translate this source IP address, then all traffic is hidden behind this IP address arriving here and then the identity session that is here, this is based on the original source, then this will not be accurately matching the real traffic flowing out of the security gateway here. So if you have not, identity sessions are broken. Therefore, you need to be careful and plan in detail. You want to place the identity collector at the site with the highest number of login events in order to have an optimization of the traffic. Then you are sharing the identity session from the centralized security gateway to the remote sites using PVP to PEP identity sharing. What if you have a higher number of login events or you cannot transmit the login events across a wide area network? In that case, we have the identity broker capability, and I encourage you to review the administration guide indicated here. And the identity broker allows you to share identity sessions across wide area networks in a very efficient way. And it is the recommended way to share identity sessions in a complicated and complex environment. Your environment can be structured. So plan the identity session learning and sharing. You look at things from user to application. You identify the user who logs on in an active directory. The login event is shared with the identity collector and propagated to the PVP instance. And then you share the identity session that is created after the group lookup with other PDP instances. And on other PDP instances, you can do the same architecture. You learn the login events. And then you share the identity sessions vertically towards the application the users would like to use. And because you are structuring your network, you have a horizontal layer where you learn the login events and you have another horizontal layer where you enforce the identity sessions. And then you have a layer, a capability to share the identities horizontally in order to scale and this horizontal identity session sharing allows users on this side, on this vertical, to access applications that are located in the other vertical and vice versa. Note that this identity collector is only connected to this machine and this identity collector only connected to this machine. You want to avoid sharing identities from here to here, maybe because of the latency, maybe because of 
long distance or any other wide area network um, requirements. But most importantly, it's more efficient for the identity sharing process if you share the identities between the identity broker instances instead of learning it twice on the PDP and then having again group lookups that may be complicated due to the complexity of the Active Directory.